Hey everyone, I thought I would do something a little different today. I am currently working on my own image that I've coloured and I'm using Faber-Castell classic coloured pencils so these aren't your artist quality pencils or anything like that and please excuse if the neighbours dogs are barking they're annoying me to no end. And been having a few issues with them trying to get at my dog but yeah anyway back to this um, so I'm working with the 48 pack of Faber-Castell classic colored pencils and as you'll see I have chosen my colors out here and these colors are number 301 which is white Rio 4, which is zinc yellow. Rio 9, which is orange yellow. Rio 14, which is dark orange. Rio 25, which is dark magenta. Yeah, dark magenta. 326, which is dark carmine. 329, which is pink matter lake. 330, which is light flesh. 335, which is red violet. 337, which is blue violet. And then finally we've just got 399, which is our black. And yeah, as this shows you, I'm just using the Faber-Castell 48 classic coloured pencils to do this image. At as it stands right now and so I will just get it focused on this the lights are a little bright and because I've only used light leads you won't see so much of the I guess image but just roughly it's just basically orchid an orchid branch coming over and around you'll see I have started doing some test with those colors here just so you can see it it is a little light just because of the lighting I have going which I will see if I can lift that up again quickly so I'll be one minute And yeah, that makes it a bit better to see, but because it is very light colour, just checking it's focused. Whoops. And now it's, yeah, now it's focused. But because I've just done the pencil leads fairly light, you're not going to easily see the image till it's sort of been coloured. Patterns, I don't have any patterns detailed out here. As you'll see, this was just from looking at other orchids and <laughs> taking a bit of a guess. I'm hoping the colours all work out together but yeah so I thought today I guess that I would uh, got my cloth um, do a bit of colouring on my own personal colouring just I guess show how I'm doing these orchids just yeah let me know what you think but yeah I just sort of would work on some of my own colorings and for a bit of a change rather than just what I've got with my coloring books which I do have a video left to edit in those and some more to record and yeah 
I'll get to it. I'm hoping I can get some in advance and get them uploaded so that I can schedule times for when they're upload to YouTube for everyone to watch so yeah particularly for when I am not around but yeah so what we're going to start with is I'm just working out which petal I go to next I'm still not sure of the, the center of the flower though is it I don't know if that's the abdomen or what but I have hand drawn these orchids and yeah I'm just working out where to start or continue with I guess these colours and work out exactly where certain petals are which it looks like here along here it looks like that's where this petal ends just here so, yeah, I'm just working out how I do this stuff in my mind, how I do it in my mind because each of the petals is slightly different so it provides a different sort of thing like I'm still not totally sure about this petal here just because it did end up being quite different to this petal like I guess flowers aren't exact but yeah does sometimes confuse things just a little so I'm just thinking I might start with doing the outline and work from there <laughs> and my dog's decided to go with her she's got toy pigs that she's decided to just oink here and there so I might start with these outlines and work in from that. I may not get all this flower done in this time frame. But we'll just see how things go. Hope everyone's well and doing okay. These pencils do come out lighter than the artist quality ones but so I find I have to press harder and sometimes go over it with even more layers than usual to get the colour depths I want out of them but they're quite nice pencils for I guess a cheaper pencil here in Australia they're one of the cheaper brands well a cheaper brand that you can buy because this is I guess uh, Faber-Castell's I guess student sort of pencil line so it's not something you'd be paying a fortune on because students etc use them and I just went over a bit of that flower then whoops I hate when I do that Fortunately, it wasn't too bad. <sighs> I do find though, because I'm not used to using these pencils now, I do sometimes end up with a bit of a hand cramp, but at the same time, it's nice, I guess, to go back to your old roots and use some pencils that you have used as a kid or something like that because you're not always gonna if you're out somewhere and you want to draw something you may not always have your artist pencils available because they come in such big packs and stuff 
and it's actually quite weighty to carry all those pencils. So yeah. Yes. So now I'm just going over those lines again. You can see it does bring out quite good colour using these pencils. I don't actually I have a few tester polychromos but I unfortunately have not been able to afford the actual polychromos pencils so yeah I'm just using what I have and I felt like playing around with some cheaper brands of pencils just seeing how they work other things and this way people who don't own Prismacolor or any of those they have something that will I guess help them out since they can't use those pencils because they don't have them Trying not to get my hand in the way, but it's kind of it's very awkward holding it these ways that aren't usual for me to hold it. So yeah. Yeah. I need to work out where I'm going to come in with I guess the purples. Bring a bit in. In here I'm just doing light tones because I will be bringing in another, I guess, purple into these outside petal bits as there's a couple of purples in the outlines. just working out roughly where I'm placing shadows and those sorts of things at the moment. No, I don't think that inner part there is part of a petal. Oh, hang on. It is, it's part of this petal. Whoops, look here, I just realised that. doing I'm just lightly doing the shadows at the moment and then I'll go over them after
I'm going to put the shadows slightly wrong up there. I'm doing some shadows here because unlike the other petals, these are sort of, I guess, areas where the flower petal wrinkles up on the orchid. I couldn't actually find an exact, the exact photo I used to do this image when I went back looking for it because silly me deleted it off my hard drive thinking I didn't need it anymore and yeah. I guess that's life, but still a uh, kind of a, I guess, a pain. <laughs> now we're going to go in and deepen some of our shadows up. creating some of our little stripy pieces here as well. Trying to do this so it looks a little sort of, I guess, rough, not necessarily like it's neat and uniformed. Because flowers that aren't always neat and uniformed. It's just, I guess, a little hard to sometimes get that look, I guess, that you may want. You do the best you can do. Bring in a couple of lighter bits here to try and keep it rough.
I am just going to pause for a moment just because video time is coming up and we'll be back with some more steps in a bit. I'll probably, in the end, I'll probably just end up showing how I do this petal. I'm not sure I may continue it for the rest of the flower, but we'll see with how long it's sort of taking, I guess, to work on the petal. It'll probably be this petal this time. I don't know if I will show the rest of the flower, if I will just, I guess, show it later on when it's finished, but I thought I would show you how I'm doing an orchid petal, I guess. And yeah, I will see you shortly. So I'm back. I was thinking about this with the next colours and normally the first colour I used was PC337. I will put that at the front bit but I forgot to put that to mention that when I was doing it. Normally this is very much a layering process so normally I would go in with a bit of the the pink and layer and do some of the blacks in that last but just because this petal is so detailed I decided so I don't lose the details I am going to I guess bring in some of the black now just so that I guess I don't risk losing any details that I need I'm not doing the abdomen bit at the moment, that's why I am just outlining around it kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to put black on this edge because this petal here is underneath this one. So I'm not going to worry about black there. However, we will bring black up between these petals. just because this petal is folding over this so we need a bit of black in here we're just going to bring some light tones of black in some of these areas Trying not to bring too much black, but there will be a bit of black in this area just because it is behind. Well, I'm not sure if it is behind the other petal or not, but either way, I sort of see that side as having, I guess, more shadow because the light's sort of coming from maybe. I'm still working out exactly where the light shadow is coming from. In some ways it sort of looks like it's coming that way, but in some ways it could be coming down this way and just hitting the tips of the petals. I'm still just, I guess, deciding on those things. But I'm just bringing the black in this time so I don't lose the details because there is so many little details on this current petal that I'm working on. So we're just bringing some black in where these shadows are meant to go here. Just a little bit up there. And then we're going to bring a little bit of black into these areas. Normally I wouldn't so much for the outside but just because these areas are sort of overlapping over each other do want just a little bit of black in there and I do need to still bring in the other colours around the edge edges on the, that spot there too
can see the wrinkles, wrinkles to the areas. So I'm bringing some black into those. And we don't want to overdo it with the black at the same time. So. going to do because this is layered and I'm going to be the layers I set down straight off aren't going to be the set layers basically in this one it's a lot of mismatching juggling I might put in a layer in a certain area but then I'm going to add in streaks and lines and stuff like that so where the layers are set it's going to change and blend out a lot more than how it was as we go in with these next colours and some colours sort of aren't layered so much till after we've got some of these other colours on so yeah first next colour I'm going to go in with is our uh, I'm not sure the colour but it's it's number 24 pencil number 25 in the classic colour pencils so it is one of the pinks it's the deeper pink out of the ones that i'm using so i'm sorry i can't exactly remember all the colors because unlike prismacolor they aren't actually written on the pencil so and we're going to layer this over every color again so we're coming in and this is going over all the purples and everything trying to keep a bit of that mismatch uneven look to it at the same time and I am using my cloth here sometimes it's handy just to wipe the pencil off or something and we aren't bringing these light areas we are not bringing the pink up into these because these are our outline streaks that you'll see on this petal here so those non-shadowed areas won't be having the colour sort of brought up into them they will be more the outline areas we also need to bring some pink up into these streaks as well And as you'll, you may notice, there's still some white gaps in amongst where I am bringing this colour in. That is totally fine because we are layering different colours and we want the different, the bit of the streaky look to the orchid anyway. So yeah. Bring that there, that there. Just because that's our spot so we want to sort of highlight those. I may add more purple over them later. Well, there's a high possibility that more purple will be added to them. Just bring it up into pink up into these sort of shadow areas. And I'm hoping this will look okay with the rest of the flower because the other petals are slightly different. So, just playing around and experimenting, I guess, with things. And this is why I left a bit of the lighter purple too, so that it was easier to blend some of the colours in together. once we've done these the, the I'm just going to bring a bit of light pink up the top here for all of these sections 
so that they can be blended easier. I might bring a bit of just a bit of pink into that section there. I'm not going to worry about blending too much pink on those spots areas just because I want those spots to look as they are kind of thing. Well as much as possible look as they are. bring some more pink in down into these areas here and some pink into these streaks here going to come in with our lighter pink which is number 29 in the classic colour pencils. I'm going to just bring that in over all these colours again. We're not yet to the layering or streaks parts just yet. We'll get there, but just not quite yet. So at the moment we're just colouring and adding colours over each other and those sorts of things. streaks seem to be sort of because there's a lot more depth to this petal the streaks seem to be fading into it a bit more which is not necessarily what I wanted you do the best you can do with what you have I'm just wiping some of the excess colour from the darker colours off the pencil onto the cloth. It's another reason why I have my cloth there. going into there a bit by default without us wanting it to but not too much we can do about that like there would be a bit in there but yeah and we're going to go in with colour 30 which is the flesh pink oh no hang on not the flesh pink no Sorry, that's wrong. We're going to go in with number 14, which is our, I think it's the dark orange. I think it is. And we're doing that over every colour again too. In some areas, as you'll see, this is sort of the final colour on some areas, but there will be streaks and stuff added into those areas eventually. just some of these layers so it looks like they're coming up towards I guess the tips of the flowers because as you'll see that some of the 
pedal lens so we need to adjust sort of some of the angles going into it now depending on where the petal is and you'll also notice this is sort of I guess reddening up our pinks and that a bit which is what we want I'm going to bring that into there So I'm going to bring some of this up here because this is bringing it up into where our petal tips are and where our light sources start coming into it. And we want it a bit rough as well, rough and layered. Here's where our shadows are. They're probably going to be... Oh, might bring a bit of this orange into here. Just because of where the shadows are. So, might bring a bit of that in there. rough looking again I will probably be doing I'll still be doing finishing the current pieces but I'm hoping to as I get more organised with it all, I'm hoping to add in more coloured images with, I guess, as you'll see here, more of the, I guess, the cheaper brand pencils for those who don't have Prismacolors or Polychromos. As that would be something that I would like to do. I am, as you'll notice, bringing some of this up into the streaks because we want that streaky kind of effect. And now, now's when we use the flesh pink. So we're going to go into this with our flesh pink. We're going to do that over every colour again. So even these areas that are finished, we want the flesh pink because we're going to be adding other streaky tones and stuff into those areas as we go. And this is just building up a rough foundation with where our layers all sort of go into. I keep try wiping off the tip of the pencil, just trying to avoid getting too much of the a black blended into the oranges and that sort of thing. Overall though, my impressions on these Faber-Castell Classic Pencils are, I think they're an amazing pencil just because you can get a really good colour depth out of them. As you'll notice here, I'm getting deep colour depth, probably almost the same depth as my Prismacolors, which, just give me a minute, I'll get a book of that quickly. I'm just doing a bit of a quick look at comparing it between the Prismacolor pencils that you'll see in this book and the colours in here and I think the depth is fairly close to each other like maybe because the camera is more focused on this and it's brighter colours it's more focused and deep but I think it is a fairly close comparison between the two, just looking at it here. So yeah, 
they're really good quality for for what you're getting and they're probably nearly as good as the uh, artist quality pencils if you can't afford the artist quality pencils from what I'm seeing just looking at it side by side then I do have some sort of well you know how pencils when you're coloring and you sort of rub it off a bit I do have a bit of that on there I'm going to try and still make this a rough if we can and we will be bringing in some streaks shortly into these areas just remembering to colour every section over um, if you're wondering I'm using a 110 GSM paper art book that you can just get from any office works or art supply store here in Australia so that's what I'm using to colour and draw this on yeah we want a bit rough here we just want to bring in a bit of orange down here too just a little bit and make that a bit rough kind of thing and now we're going to continue over that bit of orange with our flesh pink if you need to just add in a few more rough bits when it comes to it but I'm just going for the rough line because I want that streaky look to the awkward So that's sort of, I guess, my main aim with it is uh, just getting a real streaky effect. Like still evenly blended, but just having that streaky look like the orchids, sort of, because you've got the small stripes, you, I just, I like to have a bit of that sort of blended but streaky look. And so now we've done our flesh pink, we want to go in with our it's number 35, I think that was the magenta one, light magenta or something like that. And now what we want to do, we want to bring this in a bit into the pink areas. And just add in this second I guess like it's a second purple so a bit more depth in the purple but with a different coloured purple and we're also going to bring this into our little outline areas here too we want it in these areas We do. So we're just bringing a bit of that into the mostly the purples, but it can come a little bit into the pinks because we do want a bit of that streaky effect, but we're also going to bring it into these stripes as well. So any stripes you sort of place particularly on the flower, you want it in those as well. And I find this just helps bring out a bit more richness in the colour tones that you've got going on in there. As I said, we're sort of bringing it up into these outlines. And we'll do something else with those in a minute with the outlines. 
but I'll show you once we've done this little bit. Oops, I'm going to have to I'll just finish this little area up here and then I'm gonna have to pause for a bit because the battery is getting close to well this section of film is getting close to stopping so I will pause it for a minute and I will be back okay so I'm back now this is going to be a little different but I need I realized I forgot to finish just this little section here with the outline but before we continue with our streaks and adding our lemon yellow and whiten that in because we will want to add that but I want to get some of this definition in there what we're going to do as you'll see with these other ones you'll see some little curly lines and that bit uneven and stuff and we just want to bring those down into the petal a bit we can kind of thing they don't have to be even they don't have to match but just where it sort of I guess fits section I missed the purple outline but yeah so we're just bringing little sections down in like this to make it look like the petals are kind of a bit curly I guess and I also want to just bring a couple down into here just to make the petal look a bit I guess different now I'm just thinking what else I did next? I don't think I did the yellow next. I think I added in colour number 26. And this colour is basically just streaks. So you're just adding streaks up through the petals. You're not doing anything where you just put those lines. That area is left blank for now. So don't worry necessarily about touching those areas you just want some streaks going up through these petals with that reddish tone even in this little area here you can have a few little streaks to make it look right And I'm going to add just a little more of the red in this section here just to tone it in with the others. But yeah, we're looking for just a streaky effect with this red. And it is going up through those stripes of the orchid. So. we're going to do we're going to come in with our pink pencil number 25 again and we're going to bring a bit more of the pink up into some of these areas so we're now trying to bring some more of our color tones up into things I 
and this is more a streaky effect not necessarily coloring over everything so you don't need to necessarily cover every area just create some streaks with the pink but also bring out a bit more of that pink from that purple because you would have covered a bit of it up using the that magenta purple in there and we also want to bring it up a bit into this petal on this side as well and also bringing it sort of into a bit of a center point as well now we're going to go in with our lighter pink again which is PC29 and again this is streaks up above the other pink so you're bringing this in about these pinks you might want to add some color over a bit of the orange just to change the color tones a bit because this is what this it's about this is about bringing the detail into the flower so we're really adding in a lot of our detail now and this is also just a streaky effect that you bring in over a lot of the colours as well and you can bring this up into these areas too a bit into that area too and now we're going to bring in our I think it's deep orange number 14 again we want to bring this up into these areas it doesn't matter if it goes over the peach color a bit because we will be bringing that in again next and we want to just create some dimension in this flower so I'm not necessarily going over every colour, but I am trying to get a bit of, I guess, dimension into it. By doing it this way, you can keep a bit of that light on that petal that's sort of folding over, but still a bit in shadow. Now we're going to go in with our flesh pink again, piece number 30. Sorry, I keep thinking of Prismacolor at times. And this time we're not worrying so much about the streaky look. We still want a bit of a rough look. But we're not worrying so much about the streaky thing. Just because this is sort of blending all those streaks in to look nice and work together. We still want a rough look on the edges, but yeah, this is sort of starting to bring all those colors together. One thing, like it's pretty good with blending the color tones together, but sometimes because it's a harder pencil and it's not soft and easily maneuverable, sometimes you don't always get the tones blended in totally properly. I've noticed a few spots where it looks like more streaks, but to be honest with a flower, I find that works just because for me, I feel flowers sort of need that patterning and those streaks to the petals because as when you look at a flower, none are, none are exactly the same. They're all slightly different. They had the different petals and those things. So yeah, then we're bringing in, now we've done our flesh pink. What we're going to do, we're going to bring in our, I think it's orange to yellow, number nine, pencil number nine. 
and we still want to leave just a bit of white at the tip some areas um, where we can like this area here the white doesn't work so well in that area but we do want to leave some white in some of the areas and we're bringing this color more over the orangish tones can bring it a bit over the purples but yeah I bring it more over the orangish tones not so much over the purples just because well yeah and we want to leave a bit of white where we can so because this is where we want to bring our lemon yellow in a bit and then a bit of white area if we can make it look a little lighter if we can't leave too much white well yeah this petal's a lot more detailed than the others so it's a little harder to leave too much white area so we may not get so much white what I was doing with some of the other petals I was leaving a bit of white putting the white color over blending the colors in and then I was going over that white with the lemon yellow I think it is but we're going to add in a bit of our lemon yellow I think it is now PC um, number four sorry pencil number four we want to bring this in these areas here if you can leave a bit of white do so it's not going to be much white on this petal just because it's so frilly in that but yeah I was also using a bit of the white to, I guess, blend in some of those streaks, but we can still go, I still go over it later with white anyway, so it works. And we're just going to bring this up into here and up into here. Now the areas where we do have white, we want to bring in a bit of our white. Like we don't want to blend these lines in too much, but we just want a bit of, I guess, blending in those areas if possible. We will go over this all in white once we add in these layers. Then that white, we want to come in again with our lemon yellow over that. And sorry, the white was number one, pencil number one. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go in with pencil number 37 and bring some of these, deepen some of these streaks just a little bit, just because we're adding in some petal streaks now, where those streaks kind of go with the flower, we just want it light, so not heavy. And then we're going to add in some of our pink number 26, pencil number 26. You want to bring some of that in, in these areas. You want to blend it around where some of those areas ended up. You want to bring just the pink in. These layers, they don't have to be exactly on top of the purple. I sort of put some of them towards the sides those sorts of things just because I didn't necessarily want it all over the purples kind of thing trying not to take up trying to still leave I guess some of the yellow there I'm going to bring a couple of streaks up in here quickly and then yeah, so we're just adding in a bit of the light pink along where this 
magenta borderline is where the outline of the flower is. Bring in a bit of pink in these areas. Now we're just going to bring in some streaks of red, but we won't be bringing the red in where the current lines are. We'll bring, bring in the red in just, I guess, random places. So as you see, the red isn't actually on point with the others. It is taking a lot of the pale yellow out though with this one, which is a bit of a shame. Like you still got a bit of the yellow here and here, but it's taking a bit of it out of that little spot there because there wasn't much space just because of the shape of the petal. Now we want to bring in a bit of our light pink. I want to try and leave some of that yellow in there just because of the tones and stuff. And this is pencil number 29. Then we want to bring in a, just a little bit of our orange, deep orange, which I think it is, which is pencil number 14. Still want to try and leave some of that light yellow in there, but just because we don't have much of that left in this petal and we need a bit of our light source. And then we're going to bring in our flesh pink number 30 a bit. Then we're going to bring in a bit of our lemon yellow again, number four, and just fill in those areas again that had the lemon yellow in it. Hopefully it'll still bring out some light touches of lemon yellow. And then what we're going to do finally, we're going to come in with our white pencil number one, and we're just going to blend that in, colour in over the whole flower, blend those colours in starting with the lighter areas first and blend it in but we want to try and blend in some of those streaks if we can as well but this also just combines all the pencil colours how we want them we aren't going so much over the black with the white though we can go a bit over the black You don't want to overdo it on the black. We're bringing this down over all these colours. But this is just our final sort of coat because I've tried blender pencils but I don't like them so typically I try to blend by going dark to light colours as some people have noticed but if I do want to sometimes I will use a white instead if I still feel it needs more blending in just because yeah I don't find blender pencils work that well for me, I just, I don't like how they make it look all scratchy and stuff like that. That's the issues I've had trying Prismacolor blenders and all those. So I just, I avoid them because I just, I don't like the effects it gives and it scratches some of the 
I found sometimes because of the colour depths I do it scratches the colours off and all of that and I just yeah it's not worth it for me to use them so I tend to avoid them and just use whites or my light colours to blend but yeah I will probably think I'll leave that there so again we've done this with Faber Castell Classics I'll probably leave it there really I was just wanting to show sort of how I was doing this orchid petal how I was doing the different colours on my own piece I guess you could say it has I have been pressing a bit firm just to get the colour depth down but it's not actually that bad with the bulging of the paper I guess because this is artist quality paper it doesn't bulge so easily as some colouring books do you can see a bit of sort of where I've coloured where it's sort of I guess bubbling up a bit on the paper but I'm not too worried about that because it flattens out a bit once you close the book the colouring books I'm not sure I will do tests with these on colouring books eventually but right now yeah I'm just working on my own personal image with these so I hope this helps and I hope you enjoyed it and yeah I will see you next time bye